Well, we have all been frustrated by bass just cruising down the shoreline. Well, here's some tactics to try to catch those fish and when to use them. Well, first, in my opinion, by watching cruising bass over many, many years, I believe that they are definitely up there cruising those shallows. And usually by cruising, I mean they're traveling, you know, parallel with the shoreline, right? Unless maybe you're on a big flat, they could be up on a flat just kind of cruising around. But those cruising bass, in my opinion, is they're looking for a meal. They may not be hyper aggressive, okay, as far as actively in a feeding frenzy, but their stomach's rumbling. They're looking around for a meal. Well, we need to break down cruising bass or cruising bass fishing into two categories. Number one, you're doing something else and you're like, oh, look at that. There goes some bass cruising right by. Okay, that's the first category. And then the second is when you are deliberately targeting them and there's a difference at, at the beginning of this approach but the actual fishing is about the same. Okay, so let's say, let's start off with the bass that, you know, you're doing something else and you see some crews on by. The first thing we need to remember is they've seen you way, 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 way before you see them. And one of the facts about cruising bass that I find very interesting, and let me know if you, you know, have a different experience with this, is most of the time those fish that are in a true cruising mode they don't go to deeper water unless they're spooked big time, okay? You can be six feet away from them in your boat and they don't really seem to care. They seem to have that GPS, that internal GPS locked on and they're going straight down that shoreline. So they're going to keep doing that most of the time, which we can use to our advantage. So I like to make really, really long casts ahead of them, okay? Way ahead of them, about as far ahead of them as we can possibly throw those lures. And in my opinion, they, they need to look pretty natural, okay? So those cruising fish, they're up there looking for stuff. They've already seen you, okay? So we need to make that presentation and that lure as natural as possible to go ahead and catch them. Now, if I can get away with it, I will try white okay i know a lot of times the green pumpkins watermelons those types of things may look more natural um but i try to use white for one sole specific reason and that's because i can see it from such a distance and if i can see that white lure and all of a sudden it disappears i have a pretty good idea that one of those cruising bass slurped that thing up okay now what about if you want to deliberately target cruising bass and this is a different mindset pretty much the same approach except the beginning okay we're going to put that trolling motor down and just shoot down that shoreline and we're looking for those bass that are just going parallel with that shoreline this is a great tactic if you're trying to you know catch a big fish or maybe you're fishing a tournament you've got you know three four in the box and you just can't get anything else going you can pretty much always find cruisers somewhere okay some times of the year they're going to be a little more often and in other times they're more sporadic but usually you can find them so get that trolling motor on high or if you're walking the shoreline really be you know chucking on down the lake looking for these things and once you find them once again keep in mind they probably saw you first and make long long casts ahead of them and just keep with them okay if if they don't like your offering you know just keep with them i kind of like to think about it like a police drama all right like you're tailing the suspect right so you're just back a bit you know you're trying to keep them in sight but you're just following along with them throwing that offering way ahead way ahead way ahead and have several different rigs set up what are some of the lures that I like? I like using soft jerk baits and wacky rigs, both of them salt impregnated soft plastics, so they're heavier and I can throw them just a super, super long ways. And another one is a Ned rig. If you've got your equipment set up where you can really give that lure a toss, a Ned rig is highly effective and efficient at catching cruising bass. And hey, if you'd like to watch some underwater footage of the Inu rig, go ahead and check this video out right here. I found it very interesting when I was filming this. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.